walks are so that we can uh, create awareness of the alien invasive plant species that grow in uh, the greater reach system. Now we have worked out, if we remove all of these black wattle trees, we will release between 50 to 100 million liters of clean drinking water back into the Crocodile River. And that knock-on effect will dilute all the pollutants downstream and make the water that gets to Harsti's Dam eventually a little bit cleaner. Mm. So, like I said, all of this water along the, 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 the river is clean enough that you can drink it, and it's cleaner than the tap water that you're drinking at home. Mm. So we've got an absolute jewel here, and one of our big plans is to create this, a permanent hiking trail with proper marked hiking trails, uh, graded roads, and concrete walkways on the, the, the more uh, technical parts of the, the hiking trail. So you guys are the first that does, that's doing this hiking trail. So for today's walk is we're going to walk down all the way along the cleanest river in the whole of Kauteng. This river is fed by natural springs that pop up everywhere all along uh, the reach system. And we're going to walk down all the way to the bottom of the kloof uh, where there's a small little concrete bridge. And then from there, we're going to walk up uh, to the waterfall. And at the waterfall, at the top of the waterfall, there's a small picnic spot where we can gather and drink a bit of water or have a snack if you brought any. And then we'll do a walk a little bit further up to Pines Resort. And the whole walk will be right next to the river. Uh, it's easy going. There's a couple of rocks, uh, loose rocks, uh, on the second half of the trip. But it's uh, good enough for kids and all people to, to do the walk comfortably.